Hello everyone, uh, thank you for watching uh, Folate. Uh, as we saw that uh, Folate is extremely important during pre-pregnancy period and also during pregnancy because you know uh, a baby's uh, neural tube is developing at uh, gestational age of three weeks. Uh, so it's important that mother has enough uh, Folate uh, in her diet uh, during uh, you know when she's planning pregnancy and that will prevent a lot of neural tube defects at, as you saw in the tutorial. Now today now we're going to talk about B12. Okay. Now, B12 is extremely important because uh, it's it's available only in uh, animal source food. So mothers who are uh, say vegan, if they are not taking uh, non-veg food as well as they are not taking any milk or dairy products, uh, these mothers are at risk of developing uh, B12 deficiency. And in this tutorial, you're going to understand that what are the uh, complications if uh, mothers don't have enough B12. Not only uh, in her, but you will also see that uh, babies will have B12 deficiency and some of them uh, can have a neurological defect you know and sometime permanent so please make sure that you understand this tutorial very well you know write down the sources of b12 uh, how much amount is needed you know and if mothers are say vegan then they need supplement so that's important okay so uh, watch it and just understand thank you welcome to the spoken tutorial about the importance of vitamin B12. In this tutorial, we will learn about role of vitamin B12 in the body, causes and symptoms of its deficiency, food sources rich in vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is an important B vitamin and is naturally present in some foods. It is water soluble and is also known as cobalamin. Some amount of it can be produced by the good bacteria in our intestine. Supplements of this vitamin are also available in the market. Please consult your doctor before taking vitamin B12 supplements. Vitamin B12 plays many important roles in our body. It is required for proper red blood cell formation and for DNA synthesis. This vitamin is particularly important for women of childbearing age. Adequate vitamin B12 intake helps to prevent neural tube defects. Neural tube defects are birth defects of the brain or spinal cord. To avoid this defect, Along with vitamin B12, folate and choline are also needed. Importance of folate and choline have been discussed in another tutorial. To know more, please visit our website. Neural tube defects can result in physical disabilities in the child. Muscle weakness of the legs and paralysis may also happen. Curved spine and loss of urinary bladder control are other symptoms. Difficulty in eating and swallowing is also found to be common. Another function of vitamin B12 is brain development in children. It helps to improve many brain related functions. For example, attention span memory, planning and problem solving. Vitamin B12 also converts folate into its active form. Folate is required in its active form to carry out various roles in the body. For example, growth, repair and production of new cells in the body. The absorption of B12 is also important for it to carry out all these functions. I will briefly tell you the way it is absorbed in the body. Vitamin B12 in the food is attached to a protein. For the body to absorb vitamin B12, two steps are essential. Firstly, the acid in the stomach separates vitamin B12 from that protein. The stomach then secretes another protein called intrinsic factor. 
B12 then attaches to the intrinsic factor and gets absorbed in the intestine. Inadequate absorption of vitamin B12 can result in its deficiency. For example, absorption is affected in people having pernicious anemia. In this condition, the body is unable to produce the intrinsic factor protein. Intrinsic factor is crucial for the absorption of vitamin B12 as explained earlier. Inadequate absorption can be due to several other reasons also. For example, due to growth of bad bacteria or inflammation in the intestine. Gastric bypass surgery also reduces absorption of vitamin B12. Intestinal worms also affect the vitamin B12 levels. These worms take up vitamin B12 from our blood and cause its deficiency. Hence, regular deworming should be done after consulting a doctor. Another reason for B12 deficiency is insufficient intake. Older men and women above 65 years of age may have a very low intake. Low intake is seen in vegetarians and those who avoid milk and milk products. Vitamin B12 deficiency may sometimes go undetected in vegetarians. This is because their diets can be usually rich in folate. Excessive folate may mask the early symptoms of B12 deficiency like anemia. As a result, nerve damage may progress. This might get detected only when deficiency gets severe. Hence, adequate intake of both folate and vitamin B12 is necessary. Recommended folate intake and its food sources is explained in another tutorial. Let us now look at the symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency. Soreness of the tongue and mouth ulcers are common symptoms. Inflammation of the stomach can also occur. Anemia is another common symptom of B12 deficiency. It is a condition in which there is a lack of enough healthy red blood cells. Red blood cells carry adequate oxygen to the body's tissues. Pallor, fatigue and shortness of breath are Indications of anemia Reduced appetite Diarrhea and jaundice is also seen. Severe deficiency of B12 damages the myelin sheath. Myelin sheath is a protective layer surrounding the nerves. Hence, the nervous system is affected. In babies, this can result in infantile tremor syndrome, also known as ITS. It occurs in babies breastfed by vegetarian mothers who also avoid dairy. Dairy items include milk and milk products. One of the main characteristics of ITS is tremors. These tremors are jerky and can be intermittent or continuous. Pale face, thin and scattered dry hair are other characteristics. Dark skin pigmentation is also seen on the knees, elbows and knuckles. Such babies are irritable and show little interest in the surroundings. They stare blankly without any expression. B12 deficiency can delay mental and physical development in children. They may have difficulty in learning and paying attention. In adults, there may be poor reflex action 
and impaired balance and coordination. Tingling or prickling sensation in hands or legs can also happen. Confusion and seizures are other symptoms. Vision and memory also get affected due to deficiency. Hallucinations, lack of concentration and depression can also occur. Vitamin B12 deficiency increases the risk of heart diseases too. Chest pain and slurred speech may occur. I will explain to you how this occurs. Vitamin B12 is essential for conversion of homocysteine to methionine. Homocysteine and methionine are types of amino acids used to make protein. Elevated homocysteine levels can damage the heart. With the help of B12, homocysteine gets converted to methionine. In this way, homocysteine levels in the body gets lowered, thus protecting our heart from damage. To avoid deficiency, adequate intake of vitamin B12 is recommended for all ages. For babies of 6 to 12 months, 1.2 microgram per day is recommended. 1.2 microgram is also recommended for 1 to 6 year old children. For children above 7 years and for adolescents, it is 2.2 micrograms. Adult men and women should also have 2.2 micrograms per day. The requirements are higher for pregnant and lactating women. 2.45 micrograms per day is recommended for pregnant women. 3.2 micrograms per day is recommended for lactating mothers. The required amount of vitamin B12 can be met through diet and supplements. Vitamin B12 is found in animal-based foods. Fish, chicken, meat and eggs are good sources of vitamin B12. One egg has about 0.6 microgram vitamin B12. 85 grams of goat meat has about 2.3 micrograms of vitamin B12. 85 grams of chicken has about 0.3 micrograms of vitamin B12. Shellfish, liver, kidney and heart are also excellent sources. 50 grams of goat liver has about 45 micrograms of vitamin B12. 50 grams of clams has 49 micrograms. Please note that shellfish should not be given to children below 1 year of age. Milk and milk products also contain vitamin B12. A 250 milliliter glass of milk has about 0.3 micrograms of vitamin B12. 150 grams or a bowl of curd has nearly 0.2 micrograms. Apart from food sources, maintaining a healthy gut is also important. A healthy gut improves the vitamin B12 absorption in the body. Vegetarian foods have none or minimal amounts of vitamin B12. However, it can be enhanced in some ways. For example, by sprouting and fermentation. Soaking and roasting is also recommended. All this helps in reducing the anti-nutrients from the food. Anti-nutrients inhibit the absorption of some nutrients in our body. Examples of anti-nutrients are oxalates and phytates. 
have adequate intake of vitamin B12 and maintain a healthy gut for a good health. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on non-vegetarian recipes rich in vitamin B12. In this tutorial, we will learn about food sources rich in vitamin B12. Preparation of a few recipes. First, we will understand what vitamin B12 is and its role in our body. Vitamin B12 is a water-soluble B vitamin and is also known as cobalamin. It is required for various functions in the body. Let us see a few examples. It is required for the formation of red blood cells and DNA synthesis. This vitamin is particularly important for women of childbearing age. Adequate vitamin B12 intake helps to prevent neural tube defects in babies. Neural tube defects are birth defects of the brain or spinal cord. Vitamin B12 has a role in improving functions related to the brain. For example, attention span, memory, planning and problem solving. Benefits of vitamin B12 have been explained in detail in another tutorial. Please visit our website for more details. Next, let us look at the food sources rich in vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is found only in non-vegetarian food. Shellfish, liver, kidney and heart are excellent sources. Fish, meat, chicken and eggs are also good sources. Let us now begin with the preparation of the recipes. The first recipe is chicken, heart and liver curry. To make this recipe, take one heart and one liver of chicken. Other ingredients required are one chopped onion, one chopped tomato, one teaspoon ginger garlic paste, half lemon, handful of washed and chopped coriander leaves. You will need the following spices. 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon cumin powder, 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder. Take salt according to taste and 1 tablespoon of oil or ghee. Procedure Wash the chicken heart and liver thoroughly. Take them in a bowl. Apply ginger garlic paste, turmeric powder and salt to them. Keep it aside for 15 to 20 minutes. Heat oil or ghee in a pan and add chopped onions to it. Saute until they turn light golden. Add the chopped tomato and all the spices. Mix well and cook on low flame for 3 to 5 minutes. Then add the liver and heart into it. Add half a glass of water and cover the vessel. Cook on low flame for 7 to 10 minutes. Garnish the curry with washed and chopped coriander leaves. Chicken heart and liver curry is ready. One bowl of this curry gives around 8.7 micrograms of vitamin B12. Our second recipe is fish curry. I will use salmon to make the curry. You can use other fish as per availability. For example, cod, herring, mackerel. 
These are rich in vitamin B12. Ingredients required to make this curry are 150 grams of cleaned and washed salmon, 1 chopped onion, half chopped tomato, 1 fourth coconut, 4 to 5 cloves of garlic, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 4 to 5 curry leaves. You will also need half teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 piece of kokum or tamarind, 1 tablespoon of oil or ghee. Salt to taste. Procedure. Grind onion, tomato, coconut, garlic and cumin seeds into a paste. Heat oil in a pan and add some curry leaves to it. Then add the prepared paste and saute it for 7 to 10 minutes on low flame. Add the spices and kokum or tamarind to it and cook it well. Add one glass of water and bring the curry to a boil. Then add the washed and cleaned pieces of fish to it. Cover and cook for 5 to 7 minutes. Next, garnish the curry with coriander leaves. Fish curry is ready. One bowl of this curry will give you around 5 micrograms of vitamin B12. Instead of fish, you can also use lobsters, crabs or oysters. If you use 150 grams of lobsters, you will get 6 micrograms of vitamin B12. If you use 150 grams of crabs, you will get 14 micrograms of vitamin B12. If you use 85 grams of oysters, you will get around 15 micrograms of vitamin B12. Our next recipe is mutton stew. Ingredients needed to make this recipe are 150 grams of mutton, 1 fourth coconut, half chopped onion, 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic and green chilli paste, 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 fourth teaspoon garam masala powder. You will also need 1 teaspoon of mixed whole spices. For example, peppercorn, cardamom, cinnamon stick, clove, bay leaf. You will also need half a cup of mixed vegetables. I will be using French beans, peas and carrots. Take salt according to your taste and 1 teaspoon of oil or ghee. Procedure Wash and clean the mutton thoroughly. Apply salt and ginger garlic and green chilli paste to it. Keep it aside for 20 to 30 minutes. Heat oil in a pressure cooker and add the mixed whole spices and bay leaf. Then add chopped onion and saute it. Add the mutton pieces and turmeric powder. Mix well and cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Add 1 glass of water. Then put on the lid along with the whistle of the cooker. Cook on medium flame for 3 to 4 whistles. Meanwhile, you can prepare the coconut milk which has to be added to the stew. Grind the washed coconut pieces with half a cup of water. Strain the grounded coconut in a sieve. Squeeze the pulp to extract maximum milk. Collect the coconut milk in a bowl below the strainer. Put back the coconut residue in the mixer along with half a cup of water. Repeat the steps of grinding and extracting coconut milk twice. Once the mutton is cooked, open the lid after the pressure releases on its own. 
Add the prepared coconut milk and garam masala powder to it. Simultaneously add the vegetables. Cook on medium flame for 5 to 7 minutes. Mutton stew is ready. One bowl of this stew will give about 4.2 micrograms of vitamin B12. The next recipe is goat liver dry curry. To make this, you will need the following ingredients. 85 grams of goat liver. 1 sliced onion. 4 to 5 curry leaves. 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste. Half teaspoon cumin seeds. Half teaspoon mustard seeds. Spices required are 1 teaspoon pepper powder. 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon cumin powder. For garnishing, you will need a handful of coriander leaves and half lemon. Take salt according to taste and 1 tablespoon of oil or ghee. Procedure Wash the liver pieces thoroughly. Apply salt, ginger garlic paste and all the spices to the liver. Cover and keep it aside for half an hour. Transfer it into a vessel. Add one glass of water and cook for 5 minutes. Next, heat oil or ghee in a pan. Add mustard seeds, cumin seeds and curry leaves. Once it starts spluttering, add sliced onions and sauté. Add the liver curry and cook until water evaporates. Garnish with chopped coriander leaves and lemon juice. Goat liver dry curry is ready. One bowl of this curry will give 77 micrograms of vitamin B12. Include all these nutritious recipes in your diet for good health. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining.